Fuck human connection. <laughs> That's right, you heard me correctly. That's exactly how I felt when life dragged me through a roller coaster of betrayal, disappointment, and isolation. You selfish asshole, I'm calling the police. I froze when I heard the words. I'm standing outside a garden center with my 80-year-old mother. People around us start staring and whispering. I then lock eyes with a man on a forklift still hurling names. Where's your mask, he shouts. Oh, here we go again. I'm medically exempt, I said. He looks down and smirks. You make me sick, you selfish bitch. You see, I'm normally a really strong woman, but I could feel the heat covering my body. I couldn't breathe. I stood there sobbing in front of random strangers, hurt, angry, no, enraged. This has been happening for months. A recent visit to the specialist's office left me stunned. They discovered that I had two holes in my sinuses, my brain herniated in one of them, and that I needed to be operated on in order to stop my spinal fluid from pouring out of my nose. I told the doctor the fluid would pool in the mask and I couldn't breathe. He told me, take it off immediately and not to put one on at all. COVID isn't going to get you. Meningitis will, he said. This started a very stressful journey of stairs, slurs, and daily battles. In the parking lot, in the elevator, at the grocery store. Every day was war. Every morning I had to prepare myself for confrontation. I would stand in front of the doors, take a deep breath, and walk in waiting for battle. I was labeled a murderer, selfish, even worse, the C word. People called the police on me. They didn't care that I had a life-threatening situation. I felt so alone. Nobody wanted to be around me because of fear. Fuck human connection. Unfriend me if became a social media trend. And that's exactly what I did. I unfriended myself for over two years because of the overwhelming negativity. The noise just was too much to bear. I needed to disconnect from everybody except my immediate family. I was mad and I couldn't take it anymore. But then something incredible happened. As I sat in my darkness, a few rays of light started to shine through. I started receiving messages from people who missed me, who were concerned about my mental health. They told me they missed my sense of humor and my outspokenness. Friends encouraged me to bring back ladies who dine a networking event they felt was one of the best ones out there. They missed the authentic connections I provided at my events. While working trade shows, women would line up just to speak to me. They appreciated my honesty and my no BS attitude. Slowly but surely, I started to regain my lost confidence. So I decided to relaunch Ladies Who Dine. My nerves were through the roof. Who'd want to come back after all this time? I mean, I was enemy number one for years. But that relaunch night was surreal. Over 50 amazing women filled the room. I received so many compliments from women that were happy that I relaunched. They told me they missed the real, unfiltered Val V. And I was overwhelmed by the end of the night, realizing I wasn't as hated as much as I thought. In fact, I was still loved. These women saw in me what I hadn't seen in myself for so long. They had been practicing what I had been preaching for over 10 years, the power of human connection. So here's what I've learned. Sometimes you have to say, fuck human connection, to appreciate the value. You have to endure the darkest of nights to appreciate the beauty of dawn. You have to experience betrayal to recognize the power of loyalty. The last few years have been complicated. And we have to move away from unfriending and move towards connecting. We need to talk, but more importantly, we need to listen. Human connection isn't perfect. It can be messy, painful, and challenging. But it can also be beautiful, uplifting. And most importantly, it's what makes us human. And tonight, surrounded by all of those who supported me throughout, I'm reminded of that. Huh. Fuck human connection. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.